Hey, what's up guys? We are back and it is an absolutely shitty day here in Maryland. It's been snowing all day. It's turned to wintry mix, rain, just absolute garbage. But what we're going to do is we're going to get that Land Rover behind me into the garage and we're going to fix the bonnet sensor because this damn thing has been kicking the, uh, it's been kicking the warning. It's been kicking the alarm in the middle of the night. It's pissing my neighbors off. It's pissing me off. So it's time to clean this thing up. Okay, here's the part. Uh, really what goes bad is the sensor and the switching mechanism, I believe. Um, you can see how that works right here. Um, I know you can pull the, uh, the switching mech out and reuse this entire assembly, uh, but we went ahead and purchased the entire assembly. It was only I think it was maybe $6 more or something just to get it all seated in a new uh, housing. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put that in. All right, so here's our bad bonnet sensor right here. Um, so we want to get that out. To get to that though, we need to take the grill off, uh, which is actually pretty easy. So the grill is secured um, by these tabs you see running down the front. You've got these four at the top, and there's also two more hidden. I'll try and get in here so you can see that other tab. Oh, where are you? There you are. So there's the other tab and there's one on the other side. Um, so just push those down, it comes out really easy. All right, now that we got the grill off, you can see what we're working with. Uh, so really all you have to do is release those two screws, which are T30s, and uh, we'll just be using this little tool here. Uh, we have other ones, but this just fits in this area so well. Uh, it's just the right tool for the job. Okay, we have our two uh, pieces here side by side, and um, looks like the the new one is an updated part. And you know, taking it off, I see that this is, appears to be broken. You know, we're getting a lot of play in the switch here. I don't know if you can see that. I think that gets it pretty good, and that might be the reason why the sensor or the failure alerts uh, randomly. It's not every day. Every time you turn it on. And, uh, you know, the, uh, the alarm wouldn't go off all the time. It was just random. I'm wondering if the play here was kind of causing that to happen. Okay, one thing I didn't notice when I put this thing together was how much slack I had in this. Okay, so I mentioned that this uh, appeared to be an updated part. I, I'm pretty sure it's an OE part, um, but you, it, it's definitely different. So... I'm guessing this is supposed to act as a spacer uh, to give you some adjustment because if you don't pull it all the way out, um, there's not enough pull in the lever or lever, lever, I don't know, whatever, um, to pop the hood. Um, so that's something important to keep in mind when you're replacing this if you get the entire module. Now, if you just buy the sensor, um, you can just buy the sensor and put it in your existing module. And honestly, I think I'd go ahead and uh, suggest that. This is a picture of it. I mean, the sensing mechanism is, it's, it's a little bit different, but I think you're going to have just an easier plug and play. It was really easy to pop this out of the latch. Um, so yeah, maybe just go this route and save a few bucks.
All right, that's it on the bonnet sensor. Super easy fix. Uh, I didn't bother calling the dealer on this one. Um, I don't know what they would have charged. I'm sure it would have been at least twice the cost of the part, probably a couple hours of labor, some ridiculous thing. Even if it was one hour of labor, this took maybe 30, 45 minutes to uh, install. So no big deal. I definitely suggest just doing that one yourself. Um, so I hope you found this information useful. If you did, please click like and subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, for now, I'm going inside. It's freezing out. See you guys later. Bye.